Harry, it's time to get ahead and do a tell-all sit-down about the viper you married. It is not a question of if Meghan will do a sit-down tell-all when she is ready to divorce you, it is a question of when it will happen. Get there before she does. We all know that the Sussexes' marriage is going to end in divorce, but if Prince Harry left now, he'd lose everything. A source close to their lawyer said that their divorce proceedings will be over within 18 months, and Harry's mental health history is going against him in court. He's confessed his drug use. It was also an excuse for Meghan to defend herself. However, recently, staff at the Beverly Hills Hotel leaked several photos of Meghan accompanying three elderly men to the hotel in the same week. It could be spun in Harry's favor if Meghan's caught doing something egregious. The divorce lawyer said that some examples that Meghan lose the case, having an affair with someone very affluent, if she's diagnosed with a personality disorder during some kind of litigation, if she's arrested for some kind of crime after they separate, such as fraud, some kind of damning correspondence of a planning to exploit the royal family. In short, if there's some kind of narrative that Meghan planned to take advantage of Harry all along, it could help Harry regain public support. As it is, he and Meghan are pretty much equally responsible for the things that have taken place since their marriage. Lady C started the rumor about the separation before Christmas when she said on one of the videos that she'd been told that they were divorcing, but she was careful to hedge her bets. She also said Harry is screwed when they divorce. It doesn't matter who he does a sit-down interview with. Meghan has been taking notes the entire marriage and filming anything incriminating. There's a reason Doria is living with them. She'll be Meghan's star witness. There was also another article stating Meghan is distancing herself from Harry, which explains all of the awards she's buying for herself. She's the important one. The truth is, unfortunately for Harry, he's outlived his usefulness to her. Harry doesn't fit in with the plans anymore. She always wanted to be a star, and stars don't share the spotlight without the title. Harry's just a simple guy and not much to look at either. Meghan has probably always felt superior intellectually. I'd feel sorry for him, but he was complicit in all of her crap. He should have firmly taught the rules, but instead practiced what Meghan wants. At some point, probably within the next year, there will be articles of her wiping away a tear behind sunglasses, looking at him pensively from behind while he seems stern and upset, and perhaps even with a black eye or some subtle bruising. Maybe a DUI public disturbance, or drunken disorderly charge for him. Maybe she'll volunteer at women's shelters and say things like this can happen to anyone. Domestic violence can come where you least expect it. All said in a hushed tone with a meaningful glance. If Harry is even slightly smart, he'll be using his trips to the UK to secretly work with Palace PR to formulate and execute a legal strategy that'll keep at least a tiny shred of his dignity intact.